hi everyone Mohammed is here today I'm going to shortly show you how I use Katya V5 to model composite materials for this reason I go through all the main steps when I use fly by fly method to design composite products in Katya V5 I hope you find this video useful for you In this part, I'm going to show you how I define the outer mold line in Katia V5. There are different ways to define the outer mold line of an aircraft surface. The OML can be modeled in Generative Shape Design Workbench or alternatively can be imported from other softwares depending on manufacturing method a mold is usually needed to produce the composite product This mold is nothing but a surface in Katia environment. There are number of tools to generate a surface in Katia V5. For example, in this case, I have used extrude tool to produce this surface first I needed to select sketch tool and I needed to select a plane where I draw my surfaces profile which I this which I selected YZ plane and then I used arc tool which I select the center of the arc and two points for the arc and I draw the profile of my surface and by using exit workbench button your sketch is ready you need to always put constraint on the profile on the drawing what you have drawn in in sketch workbench otherwise it will be flown in the Katia environment this profile is used when you extrude your surface as you can see the profile is defined here sketch one we just simply put the cursor here and select the sketch I, either from the 3d uh, environment or from the uh, the product tree here and then you should define the dimension of the surface which is the length of the surface if you put if you check the this box here you will be having extended mirrored extended both sides of the profile or alternatively you can have reverse direction only on one side of the profile but in this case I just check the mirror extent for my surface definition of the fly boundaries is another step which 
should be taken when modeling composite materials in Katia V5 environment. The pry boundaries are nothing but set of curves on the surface which defined boundaries between different laminates with different thickness or different dimensions, for example. The ply boundaries are defined, for example, by using parallel curve definition tool. As the main terminology in composite engineering, there is manufacturing edge of the part. Usually, manufacturing edge of the part is the outmost edge of the mold, the surface. And engineering edge of the part is the, is the edge which is produced after the part is trimmed to its final dimension. So, when manufacturing a composite product, there is always a need for space to stack the fiber layers on top of each other and handle them. Therefore, the surface, the mold is a little bit bigger than than the engineered edge of the part. As can be seen here, I have already defined some ply boundaries. You can see them in product tree or you can easily see on the surface here. These ply boundaries are simply defined by selecting parallel curve tool. Parallel curve definition in, in this box you should select the curve which you need to be parallel to and in this case I select this edge of my surface. Next you have to select the surface which the parallel curve will, will be on it. So I select this surface and it says ex extrude 1 and you can check other selections also for example, repeat object after OK. So if I preview the curve which I defined now, you can see it just came here. And if I press OK, I have the boundary of ply defined. So parallel curve definition and you need to define the constant, you need to define the curve, this is the curve, support is the surface and we can repeat after OK. Preview and OK. So I need this, for example, in five instances. So we get five parallel curves on the surface. Another step which must be taken when modeling 
composite product in Katia environment is definition of materials the designer must tell to Katia what kind of material is used to produce composite product usually composite material data is provided by the suppliers of the material and these material data such as material name fiber data and strength data are inputted in the material library the next step when modeling composite materials in Katia environment is definition of composite parameters after new materials are defined they can be used to define composite parameters the composite parameters are defined in the composite workbench which looks like this after you are in the composite workbench you can see it from here you should select composite parameter when you select composite parameter you get this window with where you can add material add material window will be open and you sh should go to the catalog and add material after you select this button you will go to your local disk and to directory where the material catalog is and you by default Katya will give you these materials or alternatively you can insert supplier provided data when you define new materials and you can have it in, in the list next step when modeling composite material in Katya v5 environment is to define composite parameters to define composite parameters you must be in composite workbench either you can go from here to composite workbench or if you don't have it in your list here you can go to start menu mechanical engineering composite design it's also here it, it will change to composite workbench you should select composite parameters here in this button and you will get this window here you can add material you have to go to material catalog it takes you to the local disk where composite is you go composite and composite catalog or alternatively you can define new material and new catalog and you will have it here Katia by default gives you these materials you can select them all and say okay so you have them here As you can see, we have some 
material related data here material density for example limit angel worn angel fabric with weight per surface unit and so on so on for you can also define the direction of the fiber which you have chosen from here when you are modeling in Kathia. Next step when modeling composite materials in Katia environment is definition of rosette. The rosette is simply access system which defines reference for the fibers direction. X axis is zero degree, Y axis is 90 degree. And it's simply added by going to insert an access system. And you will get this window and you will define where you want your rosette to be. The next step to take when you modeling composite in Katia environment is to define rosette. Rosette is simply an access system where you use the rosette when you model layers and you define the direction of fiber relative to rosette. And the rosette is simply defined by going to insert access system and you select a point what is its origin and you can define where you want it. Let's say I want it in length of 2000 it's over there and I want my ax, x axis to be in direction in the same direction as this edge so x is here and as you can see it goes to the left so if you want to reverse it you can reverse it here and now it goes to the right and if you want the y axis to be on this direction you can select here no selection is here but you can select this one and now y is goes up and you can also reverse that now y is going that direction x is going that direction and z axis is out of plane so it looks good and we just say okay and you have it in geometrical set over here you can anytime you can go and you can uh, change the definitions if you not if you wish The next step to take when modeling composite material in Katia V5 environment is to define Ply's group. A Ply's group is simply used to arrange a group of Ply's rationally. For example, in this case, the interface represent price group 1 and the core of this sandwich structure represent price group 2 and price group 3 represent the outer face
to define the price group, one should go to select this button, looking like this, and you will get this window where you define surface, where the price group is coming, and you have a chance to select drapping direction. Drapping direction means the direction of the stacking when the layers come, come on top of each other in which direction this direction or in this direction so which one which layer is in the bottom and which layer is on top and you select the rosette we have it here and you can also select a plane for flattening the layers the fibers you have modeled flattening is used when you want to produce drawings and uh, in the drawing you show how does the fiber fabric looks when it's flattened and when it's cut so the fibers can be cut in proper size. The next step to take when modeling composite products in Katia environment is to define a plies group. Plies group are used to arrange a group of plies in a rational manner. Plies group are defined by selecting this button here and the window will be opened. Stacking engineering will be automatically defined in product tree and price group one is automatically named you can change the name if you want you should select the surface the surface is the mold surface you have already modeled you should select the drapping direction drapping direction means that on which direction the layers of fiber will be stacked on top of each, each other. Is it this direction or alternatively goes in that direction? We let it be this direction and we should select the rosette which defines the direction of the fiber. And finally, plane for flattening. Plane for flattening is used when you produce drawings of the fiber layers which you have modeled the drawings would be will be flat in the drawing you will have the fibers flattened and you can put dimension on them so the cutting process is much easier so we say yes to price group and we define the price group here When modeling composite material in composite workbench, the buttons are arranged in a rational way. For example, if you haven't defined composite parameters, you won't be able to define price group. If I delete Composite parameters, check what happens here. The buttons will shift to gray. So I cannot define, for example, price group.
and when I undo the letting composite parameters I have the price group button to be selected so you must do the modeling in the right order the next step when modeling composite material in Katia v5 environment is to define fly when you define ply you select this button it's somewhere on the right side this looking like this and after you select this button you should select applies group applies group should be selected and simultaneously sequence is automatically created sequence is a kind of ply bookkeeping plies are defined under the different or same plies group and different or same sequence so not necessarily all the plies can be under the same plies group or the same sequence under the geometry tab automatically the surface is selected geometry tab is here and the surface is the extrude 2 here and automatically is selected however counters for the plies must be created counters are added here here are the for example counters for this case under the attribute tab the material should be defined direction of the fiber and the rosette can be defined attribute is here is the material is selected as glass direction direction is zero and rosette access system two i think is this one here so counters are the shape of the plies the shape of the plies which is on the mold and um, all that are related to ply in the design tree may be changed when if needed afterward you can change the data by double clicking on them and modify them in this part we define ply in Katia v5 environment by using ply by ply method to define a ply one should select ply and right away after you selecting ply Katia wants you to define a plies group where your ply will be belong and you we have already defined the plies group and we select plies group Katia automatically gives the name for your ply ply number one and the surface is automatically selected as sweep one which is the mold which we have already defined next step is to define the contour which is the shape of the ply by selecting add We have to define the contour and the contour we have already defined boundary one which limits the boundary edge of our ply and in this case engineering edge of the part and manufacturing edge of the part are the same we select the boundary and here is the boundary of our ply and as we can see the green tick 
is here and our counter is closed and everything looks good so we just say OK and we go back to apply definition window. Next step is to define attributes where we define the material for example usually the surface which, which can be touched by end user or which is, it, is the in the bottom of the uh, laminate is so called composite surfacing film which is usually glass and the direction is zero composite glass surfacing film provides lightning strike protection and provides with better surfacing qualities and having composite glass surfacing film you will help to decrease the amount of work to do to prepare the surface for for example painting at the end of the manufacturing process so we usually use surfacing glass film and it's the the bottom in the bottom layer of the laminate and trapping direction we already defined on this direction so we leave it as it leave it to be as this direction flatten is the geometry of the layer when you produce drawings for for example cutting the layers you will need this flatten geometry and we will leave this flatten geometry for the moment and when we produce drawing we will we will discuss about flatten geometry and we say okay and in model 3 we have ply 1 and one can repeat the same process to do to define more plies or one can select ply 1 and by copying it and by pasting it in the same sequence by control C and control V you will have ply 1 copied here and you can change the name for example as ply 2 and the counter counter can be the same and uh, you can change the material let's change it to s145 underline g803 and change the direction to 45 for example and rosette can be the same and trapping direction the same and flatten we leave it for the moment and we say okay so we have now two plies and to have a symmetric laminate uh, we we need to copy ply 2 and paste it and copy ply 1 and paste it so now we have a symmetric laminate a symmetric laminate is composed of layers that are symmetrically arranged with respect to the laminate's middle plane so if we have we, if we assume the laminate middle plane is here it's symmetric in this case so here in a nutshell we showed how plies are defined in Katia v5 environment using plies by plies method